see my wife on our wedding day. You have made my life complete. I will love you forever. The only thing I can say is I do. I promise to be the man you need wherever life takes us. I promise to always remember this moment. I will love you now and forever to my wife. See you out there. Forever could never be long enough for me I feel like I've had long enough with you Forget the world now, we won't let them see But there's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted my way. What I love about Jessica is how like compassionate she is. She wears her heart on her sleeve and that's like one of her best qualities is that she cares. She always cares about everybody else. And I think that that's kind of where, what won me over is that it's never really about her. It's always about making somebody else happy. Say you will. Say you will. Together could never be close enough for me To feel like I am close enough to you You wear white and I wear out the words I love you And you're beautiful Now that the wait is over Love has finally showed her my way Marry me Today and every day Marry me If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe Say you will What I love about Joseph is his uh, personality um, and his positiveness. You know, I worry too much or whatever is going on, like he always knows how to like calm me down and mellow me out and be like, no, I mean, everything's fine. Say you will mm. Say you will mm. Marry me Looks 
so beautiful in this light Your silhouette over me The way it brings out the blue in your eyes Is the Tenerife Sea And all of the voices surrounding us here They just fade out when you take a breath Just say the word and now we'll disappear Into the wilderness should this be the last thing I see I want you to know it's enough for me Cause all that you are is all that I'll ever need I'm so in love So in love So in love So in love here this evening like to celebrate the wedding of Jessica and Joseph. In the moment I knew you bet. There are at least two thoughts for each of us to hold in our minds as we witness this ceremony today. The first is that God is a God of love and of grace and of mercy. The second is that God knows the course of our lives before we draw our first breath. God the Father knew this day would come long before we knew about it even long before Joseph and Jessica knew about it. He orchestrated their lives so that they would meet. Through the experiences of their lives, he prepared them for each other. He has guided their steps since before they were born so they could stand here and have him join their hearts together as one. That means you and I are the witnesses to a miracle today. We are here to celebrate with Jessica and Joseph as they begin their life together as husband and wife. All of us have known them before today as single people. From today on, we'll know them as husband and wife. Our challenge is to pray for them and support them and encourage them as they begin their new life. Remember the words that they say here today. Hold them accountable to the promises that they make. Encourage them through the trials and the triumphs that are surely to come their way. In this way, you'll not only be a witness to a miracle, you'll be a participant in that miracle. The Bible tells us that marriage did not begin because of a development of human culture. Marriage is a relationship that was invented by God when he looked down on that first man and said it's not good for a man to be alone. God created a wife for Adam, and when he put the two of them together, for the very first time, he declared the two shall become one flesh. Who gives this woman to be married? Her mother and I. Could we join together in prayer? Lord, we thank you for this day and for all that you've been doing in the lives of these two very special people. Thank you for loving them for bringing them into your kingdom, for guiding their footsteps and bringing them together in a joyful and blessed relationship. Today, Father, we honor you as our creator, 
and as the most honored guest at this wedding celebration. We ask that your spirit would rest upon us and that your holy angels would attend to these two as they make their vows before this assembly and before your throne. May this wedding be a joyful worship celebration as we acknowledge your grace and your mercy, O Lord, and may the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. The words of 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude or self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protect, protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. Joseph, Jessica, in a moment, you two will say some very important words that will launch you into life's greatest adventure. Your family and your friends are here watching and wishing you well. But before those vows are spoken, I think it's important to reflect on the truth that God has spoken to us through His Word. 1 Corinthians 13 is the Bible's greatest passage on the subject of love. In those verses, we have ideas that serve as a lasting foundation for your new relationship together because they contain some of the most important words that God has ever spoken to humanity regarding the benefits of marriage. First of all, God says love is patient and kind. God has brought the two of you together to function as a team in all the tasks and the challenges that lie ahead of you. His call for you is to work together, and His promise is if you do, He'll bless your efforts and make you even more fruitful. Working together means you never work against each other. It means you'll bear with one another. God didn't give either one of you wings or horns, so supporting each other and encouraging each other is going to be the great gift you have to give to each other. Remember, from this day forward, your interests are in common. When one of you is blessed, you both are blessed. When one of you suffers, you both suffer. And the promise of God is that as you work together and walk together, you'll discover your sorrows will be diminished and your joys will be multiplied. The second thing that we find in those verses is that love is selfless. It doesn't seek for itself. It doesn't ask, what's in this for me? It seeks to give always. It sacrifices for the other. As you love one another, as you cover each other with prayer, you will find that God will give you strength and a power to overcome all of the negative things in life. So your love will grow stronger from the struggles that you face. You'll find that God's word is true when he says he causes all things to work together for the good of those who love him. And finally, the greatest blessing of all is that last sentence. It says there are three things that will always be there for you, faith, hope, and love. When those th three things exist in combination, they are unconquerable. And my prayer for the two of you is that 50 years from today, you'll look at each other and say, you know what, I really do love you more than that first day we started our life together. Let God's love and the love he has placed in your heart be the glue that bonds you two together. It is his gift to you, and what you do with that love will be your gift back to him. If you're willing to make this covenant before God and these witnesses, please join your right hands. Joseph, do you take Jessica to be your lawful and wedded wife? And do you promise before the Lord and the witnesses present to love and honor her, to cherish and commit yourself to her, and leaving all others to bond only to her? And do you promise to be to her in all things and at all times a true and faithful husband as long as you both shall live? I do. Jessica, do you take Joseph to be your lawful and wedded husband? And do you promise before the Lord and the witnesses present to love and honor him, to cherish and commit yourself to him, and leaving all others to bond only to him? And do you promise to be to him in all things and at all times a true and faithful wife as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> As I told you when we talked together about the wedding ceremony, this may be the only time you get to hear your first, middle, and last name, and you're not in trouble. So, 
Repeat these vows after me, Joseph, you first. I, Alfred Joseph Torres III. I, Alfred Joseph Torres III. Offer myself completely to you. Offer myself completely to you. Jessica Dawn Hollywood. Jessica Dawn Hollywood. <laughs> to be your husband in marriage. To be your husband in marriage. I promise to love you with all of my heart. I promise to love you with all of my heart. To be true and faithful. To be true and faithful. Patient and kind. Patient and kind. And unselfish in Good. this love. And unselfish in this love. You didn't promise to stand still. I didn't say I'm just a little jittery. <laughs> 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 I'm good, baby. I promise to stand beside you always. I promise to stand beside you always. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of trial. In times of trial. And in times of sorrow. In times of sorrow. I dedicate our marriage. I dedicate our marriage. And our home. And our home. To the Lord who brought us together. To the Lord who brought us together. I pledge myself. I pledge myself. And all that I am. And all that I am. In love. In love. Jessica, will you repeat after me? I, Jessica Dawn Hollingworth. I, Jessica Dawn Hollinger. <laughs> offer myself completely to you. Offer myself completely to you. Alfred Joseph Torres III. Alfred Joseph Torres. <laughs> you got it. You got the R, baby. You got it. <laughs> the third. To be your wife in marriage. <laughs> to be your wife in marriage. I promise to love you with all of my heart. I promise to love you with all of my heart. And to be true and faithful. And to be true and faithful. Patient and kind. Patient and kind. <laughs> and unselfish in this love. And unselfish in this love. I promise to stand beside you always. I promise to stand beside you always. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of trial. In times of trial. And in times of sorrow. And in times of sorrow. I dedicate our marriage. I dedicate our marriage and our home and our home to the Lord who brought us together to the Lord who brought us together I pledge myself I pledge myself and all that I am and all that I am in love in love I believe you have a ring these rings are a physical symbol of the miracle that God has done in joining you together today may they forever remind you of the promises that you have made. Jessica, will you place this ring on Jessica's finger and repeat after me? Jessica, with this ring. Jessica, with this ring. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. And love to you. And love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> there's, th there's three rings. <laughs> this is your daughter. <laughs> And they're paid for, so we're going to put them on. <laughs> Joseph, in like manner, place this ring on Joseph's finger and repeat after me. Joseph, with this ring. Joseph, with this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Could you join me in a prayer of blessing? Father, as these hands are joined together and these vows have been exchanged, so I ask now that through the power of the Holy Spirit, you would bind these two hearts together as one. Bless them in everything they put their hands to. May they be blessed when they lie down and when they rise up, when they go out and when they come in. And may your good grace light their path every day of their life. In your holy name we pray, amen. Since you have made these covenant commitments before God in this assembly. It is my privilege as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to declare the two of you are no longer independent persons, but are now husband and wife. Joseph, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> It is my very great privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred Joseph Torres III. <laughs>
remix. <laughs> J.E. y'all. Run DMC to the beach, y'all. Ah ha. Ah ha. And me? Y'all know my name. <laughs> Come on. She first of all. Yes. <laughs> I know these so called players wouldn't tell you this. What? But I'ma be real and say what's on my heart. Yeah. Let's take this chance and make this love feel relevant. Didn't you know I loved you from the start? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
darkest hour Just before the dawn And I'm slowly sinking Into the slough of despond Like an old guitar Worn out and left behind I have stories still to tell They're of the healing kind Oh my love Oh my love Oh my love If I can just find you tonight If I can just
every day and every night We'll be together With the roof right over our heads We'll share the shelter Of my single bed We'll share the same room Yeah Put your trust Over our heads, we'll share the shelter. 